All right, thanks, Dan. An easy way to keep energy costs down is to simply cut down on power use. Atlantic City is doing just that, now using a new system designed in Korea that automatically reduces power consumption. And as Ben Stein reports, the first building in America to receive a new technology is in the resort. And the thing is, it works. It's not a new kind of energy. Instead, it uses existing energy and reduces it. Worldwide Save Energy installed 11 Energy Saver consoles throughout Atlantic City's Public Works building. Each console is either a light saver or a motor saver. It determines the exact amount of energy needed to power the utilities and then allows only that amount of energy to get through. People are not going to uh, cut back their demand. Uh, we as a nation, we we say that we would do it, but we don't, you know. When you turn on a 100-watt light bulb such as this, it uses 100 watts of electricity, but sometimes it burns even higher. Engineers say it's not necessary, so they've designed something to keep this 100-watt light bulb burning at 100 watts or below, and that keeps energy costs down and extends the life of the bulb. So if we save 15% on each building or 15% on the, on the, uh, the overall uh, uh, budget, then we're, we're accomplishing something. Since November, the building saves over 20% in electricity costs. Anytime that you talk about uh, implementing a program that, number one, uh, will save the taxpayers money, but additionally brings with it the opportunity for job creation. It's good, very good. The mayor says Worldwide Energy will work with the city to train workers to install more systems in the city's public buildings. Ben Stein, News Channel 40, NBC. Worldwide Save Energy picked up the $100,000 price tag for installing new equipment in the public works building.